So the dish I'll be cooking today will be wild Alaskan halibut cooked in beef butter with crispy cavalanero and ramson caper pesto. Uh, so when I was uh, over in Alaska, the main thing I noticed was um, their kind of sustainable approach to fishing, which actually really impressed me because over here we focus on a lot of farmed fish, um, which for, in my mind is a bit of a lesser product and actually isn't as we're finding out now, as sustainable as people think, it can be quite detrimental. Um, when I went over to Alaska, I, they talked to through everything that they did and showed us and gave us, actually gave us the examples of being out in the field. And they, they manage their um, stocks in a way that I haven't seen before. So they're kind of repopulating uh, the, you know, the, the natural stocks of fish and then they're catching things and you know, letting them grow wild and then catching them in a, in a normal fashion. So yeah, I thought it was a really um, good way to go and they worked with their quotas, so they didn't overfish. They didn't try to match the um, production of fish to the, to the quotas required, you know, it was the other way around. They do what they can, you're allowed to catch what is there and then they start again for the year after. But you know, you get these beautiful sunken grey halibuts which are kind of at the prime for, for usage. So yeah, um, in terms of using a great product that's nice and fresh, I just decided to go for the halibut. Um, first we, you know, we take the fish, I've got it filleted in there. We're going to um, leave the skin on. When I'm cooking it in the beef butter, I'm actually going to do it on the barbecue. So a nice intense heat and that skin's just going to protect it a little bit. I'm going to slightly salt it, obviously give it that slight seasoning. And then we're going to just bar mark it a little bit, get some colour on it, then pop it on a tray, baste it in the beef and onion butter, which is literally just unpasteurised butter uh, mixed with a bit of beef extract and onion powder, so it gets this really intense rich flavour. And then we're just going to slowly bake it away and then rest it out. Served with the halibut, the main component will be uh, the rams and caper pesto. It, we base the recipe um, on actual pesto, but we've kind of changed all the flavours to marry, you know, the, the kind of British lead ingredients that we, that we use. Um, back in the summer when ramsons were out, wild garlic, we pick off the, the seed pods and then we brine them and pickle them. We then take them and we mix them with roasted hazelnuts, uh, West Gum cheese, uh, parsley and some rapeseed oil. And we blend them into a, into a pesto-like uh, sauce. The garnish to the dish will be crispy cavolo nero, which is a type of uh, cabbage, but it's kind of like kale in a way. And we just cut it down into strips, coat it in a fresh tempura batter, and then deep fry it in a, in a blend of nut oils. So it's a lovely fresh flavour and nice crispy texture. To plate the dish, we have rams and caper pesto on the base to act as a kind of a pool of sauce. We place the barbecued wild Alaskan halibut on top of that and we finish the dish with crispy cavalonero. So there you have wild Alaskan halibut. It's been barbecued in beef butter, ramson caper pesto and crispy cavalonero.